Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can format word tables to clarify the data and enhance the appearance of the information. Word has many pre-created table formats that you can apply to your tables. In addition to these table styles, you can also select individual elements of the table and then apply your own custom formatting if desired. To apply a table style, start by clicking the table to format. Next, click the Design tab in the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. The styles you can apply to the table are shown in a list within the Table Styles button group. Scroll through the list and click on a style to apply it to the table. If you roll your mouse over them, a preview will appear in your table. You can modify the styles shown in the Table Styles list by using the check boxes in the Table Style Options button group to decide what elements of the table styles you wish to apply or remove. For example, to apply a total row to your table, check that the option in the Table Styles button group. You can also make your own custom formatting modifications to a selected table element, such as a selected cell, column, or row. To do this, select the table element to format. To change the shading or fill color of the selected cells, use the Shading drop-down button to the right of the listing of tab styles in the Table Styles button group to select a background color. You can click the Borders drop-down button to display a listing of the borders that can be applied or removed from the selected cells. This button appears within the Table Styles button group in Word 2007 and 2010 and appears within the Borders button group in Word 2013. In this button's drop-down menu, any border buttons that are selected are being shown in the selected cells. Border buttons that are not selected are not displayed. You can click on any border button shown in the drop-down menu to toggle its visibility on or off. In Word 2013, you can click the new Border Styles drop-down button. This will apply a preset style to the selected cell's borders by first clicking on a style to apply in the drop-down menu that appears. Then select the borders to which you want to apply the selected style by clicking the Borders drop-down button and then clicking on the names of the border buttons to which you want to apply the newly selected style in the drop-down menu that appears. If you choose to not apply any borders after selecting a border style, then click the Border painter, painter button to turn it off. You can like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.